whatever. All right, new Heroes of the Storm PTR patch notes as of today, April 16th, 2024. So pretty unexpected. This was definitely a much bigger patch notes than uh, I expected to see with uh, a lot of changes. And uh, I think uh, it's very interesting in several ways because first, there's balance updates, which have only recently begun, like a couple patches ago. And and the, most of the other balance updates have been very small. This one's not large, but I would say maybe this one's like medium. And the last time we had balance updates was like freaking, I don't even know, five, six, seven years ago or something before that. So it's kind of weird that balance updates are starting again, but weird in, in a good way, you know? That's that's weird in a good way. I I'll take it. It's not bad. And then there's some other changes down the line that I feel like a developer like actually had to add new code or modify the code. So they had to be paying a coder to modify Hot's code, which I did. I felt like they you know I didn't really expect them to ever do that again. But I I heavily suspect that they, they are paying at least one developer to modify Hot's code again. So, you know, that's also better than expected. Um, all right, so let's go over the patch notes. So we got some quick ARAM changes. Varian's now classified as a tank. This is nice, I guess. You know, you'll always have an option to, to have Taunt Varian as a tank. I, I felt like this was a bigger problem than quick match. Like as far as I've heard from players, Varian um, being classified. Oh, oh, it's the other way, right? It's the other way. So the problem in quick match is Varian is classified as a tank in quick match, but they never pick the tank talent. So you end up with no tank against the real tank. So yeah, I don't know. Okay, that could also happen in ARAM. That'd be kind of funny if that happened in ARAM too, because that's the complaint I hear a lot. But you know, we'll see what happens. Same hero mode. They added a bunch of same heroes. They removed a couple. Rip Probius same hero. I f I felt like the Nova one was okay, but you know, I guess they got re I I know why they removed this one, so you don't have four hour games anymore. Goodbye, Great Wall. It was nice knowing you. Um. All right, balance updates. Arthas, this is like some pretty small changes, just like minor buffs. It'll feel nice, but it's not like something that'll, you know, it's not like a huge change. It's not something you'll like really notice. I would classify this as small buffs. Very small HP regeneration buff, about 0.5 extra regen. Um, minor buff, minor max HP buff, about 120, you know. It's nice. Uh, and then minor heal, very minor healing buff. And then very minor mana cost reduction. And I feel like for these, they just wanted to like have some consistency. So the damage is now additive instead of multiplicative, I'm assuming. Um, this is going to be very minor. Like this talent sucks, first of all. It barely adds any damage, so I don't even know exactly what this is going to do, but whatever. Like, it's not going to be a big change. Maybe maybe you get, like, a tiny bit more damage. This seems to be mostly for just game consistency reasons why they would change that. Hogger changes are a lot bigger, in my opinion. Okay, so the Rage Decay Rate, this is, this is already one of Hogger's biggest weaknesses is like when you are solo lane and you have to rotate one or two lanes before you get to the actual team fight like you know your your rage is all gone even if you're full rage if you have to mount up and then go across the map your rage is all gone by the time you get to the team fight and you have to charge it up again so this makes it even worse which is fine because hogger is still considered the best solo laner in the game so you know he does need some nerfs so uh yeah and this is a pretty big rage uh, nerf uh, the decay rate is increasing by what 30 percent here so that's that's relatively significant on something that already decayed pretty quickly small on the prowl nerfs here small cdr 
small healing reduction. Small nerf on the Q. Um, small buff on the level 13 armor talent. And then a big nerf on the level 13 spell power reduction talent, which is justified. This talent is really broken. I think this talent is still maybe the best level 13, you know, even after this nerf. It's just an incredibly OP talent. It's like Hogger's best talent. So good that they nerfed it, I suppose. Link in the YouTube chat is wrong. Lazy YouTube mods. We don't have a YouTube mod. Can you even mod someone in YouTube chat? To my knowledge, I don't I don't even know if you can. I don't even know how to do that. So an eight second window rotate would become like a six second rotate? Yeah, probably. Uh, something like that. I mean, you can still use this level one to prevent the rage decay, so you can still mitigate it. But yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a it's a nerf. You're gonna have to be more skillful about manipulating your rage now, which I think is fine. Junkrat nerf, like this is justified too. I think thank the Lord. Steel trap nerf is great. Steel trap is like just a toxic build, especially the one where you take moving trap and double trap. I think they should just remove Moving Trap from the game. Like, I think Moving Trap is just kind of stupid. Like, it's like, it's not fun for, it's just not fun to play against. It's like, it's just super toxic. And I have seen so many idiots, I mean, I've seen so many of my teammates, uh, just, you know, just like, even though the trap is so slow, like, they still just, they'll, they will find it, you know. If the trap follows them, it will hit them in Grandmaster. Like it doesn't matter. So I th I think if they really want want to make junk trap better, they should they should remove moving trap. Those traps should not move. It's, it's, that's some BS. I think this hero would just be better if they remove that. But I mean, this is you know at least it's a nerf for that build, which is good. And then a nerf for the Q damage. This was by far like the best level one talent, so it's a good nerf. Nerf for dig dirty trickster. It's kind of weird. I don't know why they did this. It's, this talent was not like super OP, but it doesn't really matter. It's like a super small nerf. This is the one where if you get stunned or if you uh, go below half HP, you drop your death bombs. So every 12 to 20 seconds, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Percentage wise, it's a big nerf, but you know, it's like it's unlikely you're going to get stunned more often than this, anyways. So 20 seconds is still really short. Rhaegar, basic attack damage nerf. Um, well, Rhaegar's already tier S healer, so I think it's fine to nerf him a bit. Small Ghost Wolf, you know, your Z damage decrease. So they're nerfing Rhaegar's attack damage. Rip, Mangar, feels bad man, but understandable because he's a really good hero. Lightning Shield, Slight Nerf, Lightning Shield, Snight Nerf. Okay, this talent blows, though. Like, this, this talent sucks. Like, I don't understand why they... Like, I don't understand why they're nerfing W. They must be looking in their data and it's like just it's like too good in low elo or something. I guess it probably has too high win rate in low elo. Cause it's certainly not good in high elo. But you know, whatever. It's fine. Um, this is whatever. Tiny nerf. Doesn't matter. This is a big nerf. Which is good though. The 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 totem build is still really, really strong for Rhaegar, so. Attack speed slow from 25 to 15 is a pretty big difference. Now the Rhaegar totem might not just automatically completely destroy all auto attackers. That's a pretty big nerf. That could drop Rhaegar a tier on my tier list potentially. So uh, small nerf to the damage here. It doesn't matter. This doesn't matter that much, but this is really big. The attack speed slow thing is really big because this, this will affect like a whole team you know if you go totem build on Rhaegar you can get this on like four or five people um so that's pretty important on a game expand this real quick all right let's try to finish this up Irel also got some really big changes small buff to a level one uh healing talent this is that's uh not that important this one is huge freaking 50 armor for 6 seconds is huge. I kind of don't like this change. These are the kind of talents where if you play in a stack, if you, it is so much better in stacks. If you're on voice comms, you can really abuse this kind of thing. I mean, this is like a D-shield for 6 seconds. Like a weaker D-shield. But it's basically like a D-shield 
for six seconds and it's aoe so you can apply this on more than one hero you know as big as your e range is this is just like this is like the medivh change but like yeah this is just similar to the medivh armor change it's like it'll probably actually be useful talent now they want people to use it because no one ever uses this armor talent where if you hit your teammate with an e you give them armor like no one uses that shit. but any stacks willing to abuse this will make it really op too so don't love that don't like that change but it is what it is this is a cool change sacred ground from 40 to 25 seconds that is a massive buff that's a huge percentage buff 25 seconds that's like nothing so you can just alt constantly now like you're just gonna have permanent sacred ground armor and then if you move away from the sacred ground it doesn't matter because it's gonna be back up in like 10 seconds anyways so sacred ground i expect a lot more people to use that that's really strong really big buff very big very big 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 and then a slight nerf for Arel's best level 16 talent it's still probably the best one this talent's really good six percent damage percent damage and then 15 armor like it's still really good it's probably still her best 16. all right so the hero updates i'm not gonna go over all of these but they're basically in like certain categories okay so there's a lot of these quick cast changes where they're just messing around with the quick cast settings this stuff doesn't really matter I just, I just ignore all this this doesn't really matter but there's a lot of changes like these where it's like ruthless momentum they added a health threshold indicator so this is the when you're above 80 percent hp your cooldowns cool down much faster level one talent so this i feel like this requires some extra coding from a developer and it also requires i don't know like some graphics you know some some dude has to add the health threshold indicator graphics right so this this is like they got at least one developer working on this and one graphics dude working on this otherwise i don't think something like this could happen so that is really intriguing to me because you know that means they actually hired a couple people to work on hots again um same for this cast and channel bars i don't even know what that means but that sounds like some kind of thing that could only be changed if they had a graphics guy and a coding guy edit some code. Um, same with the same with this. There's a, they added a button. Uh, same with this. Added another indicator. So um, same with these. They're adding stuff to the buff bar now. And same with this. Now the trade is highlighted. They're adding highlighting like this. They actually had to hire people to do this. You know, like uh, the janitor can't do all this by himself. So that is very interesting to me. Um, so all, a lot of those those uh, things happen too. Added to buff bar, added to buff bar, indic added new indicators, um, indicators, buff bar. Yeah, so that's what I find interesting about most of uh, these changes. Um, yeah, buff bars indicators and there's a lot of them too like there's a lot of them like this is more than like one day's worth of work even for two people that they hired you know so yeah very interesting I, uh, it's interesting my two percent chance that hots would ever you know get updates again i, I think i gotta like move it up maybe i'm, I'm not maybe like five percent to ten percent chance Hots will get more significant updates again in the future now. Um, but yeah, that's about it. And then there's a bunch of bug fixes as well. I'm not going to cover all those bug fixes. Uh, one cool one is they reverted the and one change. So you can get the sword at the start of the game again. But you can read the these at your own leisure as well. All right. Yep, that's, uh, that's the patch notes review. There you go. I gotta remember to clip that and upload that on YouTube too.